Previously, we taught you how to find a volume, but this isn't our final volume. Welcome to Petroleum, a student core survival guide. And we're here to help make learning Petroleum just a little bit easier. Most things, such as natural gas, will occupy less space at a lower pressure, which we see when we bring oil to the surface, or in the case this can. We see, as the gas is released, the volume of the soda changes. We have gas leaving the solution. It's occupying less space, and we have a new volume. So we introduce a factor to go between the volume inside of the can and the volume we'll experience once this has reached standard atmospheric conditions. And we call this the formation volume factor. Oil, or really any liquid, at atmospheric standard conditions, we'll use the units STB per standard barrel. And when it's in situ, we'll use the units BBL for blue barrel. Likewise with gas, at atmospheric surface standard conditions, we'll use the units SCF, standard cubic feet, and in situ, just feet cubed. Formation volume factor is signified by the letter B. And all that is, is just referring to the volume occupied at a certain pressure and temperature over its volume at standard conditions. So for oil, it's the volume oil occupies at a certain pressure and temperature. So the volume it's occupying at the surface at standard conditions. And its units are BBL per STB. Likewise with water. It's the volume that water is occupying at this pressure and temperature and the volume it's occupying at the surface. And again, the same units of BBL per STB. With gas, it's the same volume ratio, but our units are now feet cubed per SCF. Some common values for these would be for oil, which has gas dissolved in it, is 1.2. And water, which doesn't have as much gas dissolved in it, will have a lower value of about 1.01 .01. gas, which will occupy a lot less space at huge pressures and temperature. When it comes to the surface, it'll expand and occupy more space. So its formation volume factors can be in the ranges of 0.003 to 0.01 as its common values. Now we can finally figure out how much volume of oil we have to sell after we've brought it from the reservoir conditions to our atmospheric and standard conditions. If you say you have 10 barrels of oil to sell and it shrinks to nine because of that gas has come out of solution, your seller's not going to be very happy with you. So we're going to denote this in units STB. And this comes from having our volume of oil in BBL over our formation volume factor of BBL per STB. Original oil in place, OOIP, denoted as N sub I. And what this is, is how much oil is in our reservoir before we've started production. And this can be calculated by combining some reservoir properties. N sub I is equal to the area of our reservoir times its height, times the porosity and the saturation of oil initially, all over our initial formation volume factor for oil, giving us units of STB. Likewise, we can calculate initial water by using our initial water saturation and our initial formation volume factor of water. Gas, which is already in cubic feet units, does not need an extra conversion to give us units of SCF. These calculations can be done at any point in the life of our reservoir just by changing the saturation and formation volume factor values to be at that point of investigation.